Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be uh, deciding between some elk hunting boots. So I thought I'd take you guys along and uh, give you some tips, show you how I do it. And uh, particularly, it's particularly hard for us Midwestern guys because around here, um, or maybe uh, out on the East Coast too, I don't really know. But around here at least, we, uh, we don't have very many good Western places that you can try on many good western hunting boots and uh, so it makes it hard you usually have to end up ordering them unless you go to Cabela's or something like that but even there it's a uh, it's pretty limited to what you can actually try on and what you can find so it's kind of easier just to to order it and then uh, I'm gonna show you how I test them out and then you can just send them back if you don't like them and decide between uh, multiple pairs of boots so anyway what I do is, behind my house, there's this really steep hill right here. It's probably, I don't know, it's very steep. So, which is also kind of hard to find around here is some good steep hills. But I have this uh, mode and that's so I can walk up and down it. And if you look at my boots, they're covered. And uh, so I'm wearing socks and then I have some old pairs of socks. I have uh, two socks per boot wrapped around the boot so that uh, you can keep them clean and you can actually take them back after you're done deciding which ones fit your feet right and which ones are going to work for you. So I just uh, you know, walk up and down it and right now I'm trying to decide between the Solomon Quest 4Ds and the uh, Under Armour Brow Titan Honey Boots. And so far, I've tried on the Solomons and I've walked up and down the hill. And this is the first time walking up and down the hill in the Under Armors. But, you know, walking around the house and trying to decide what you're going to wear on an elk hunt really doesn't do it justice at all for me. Because you know you try on a pair of boots and obviously you want to go with the ones that are the most comfortable for you you know and they feel like they're meant for your feet but then you can get out to the mountains and they can just tear your feet apart if they don't fit you know exactly right and if your ankles slip at all you're gonna get blisters so that's why I like to find a nice hill walk up and down really try to figure out which one holds my feet in right so I don't get blisters on the mountain and this is gonna be the same way I break them in I'm gonna try not to break them in before I decide which ones to get so the next person that buys them won't have a screwed up boot for the ones that I take back but I'm not going to wear them too much, I'm just going to decide which I like best and then uh, I'll choose that, I'll pick that one and break it in real good before my hunt. And it's also a pretty good workout when you have a steep hill. So anyway, so right now I have the Under Armour Brow Time hunting boots on, uh, uninsulated, and I like them, they actually, I don't know, they really fit my feet good, and my ankles don't slip at all, yesterday I had the Solomons on, they were very comfortable, didn't slip at all. Very comfortable. These boots are going to be hard to decide between because they really both are really nice on my feet. But one thing that might be a deciding factor between these two, the Solomons and the Under Armour, is the fact that the Solomons have a, a great lacing system. It's just really easy 
it's really easy to get it tight and get it to cup your feet really nice so your ankles don't slip but the under armors you really kind of have to work for it to get them as tight and get them exactly how you want it so that might be what it comes down to because they both feel really good I also think the Solomons have a little bit more padding so they might be just a touch more comfortable but they're both really light um, I think the Under Armour is 2.4 pounds per pair the Solomon is 2.2 pounds per pair I think but don't quote me um, and that's one thing I want to mention personally I'm starting to like the um, the hiking style boots a lot more than the actually uh, like really stiff mountain hunting boots because you hear a lot about uh, Loa Tibet GTX's and a lot of people say those are the best boots and those are great for elk hunting and whatever and that might be that might be good for some people but you know everyone's feet are different but also I just don't like a stiff boot like that and I tried breaking them in I tried doing everything I just did not like them whatever I did my ankles would always slip just a little bit or if I had if I tighten them down to where my ankles wouldn't slip I would uh, they just start having pressure points on my feet it just wasn't comfortable for me so just because uh, someone says a pair of boots is you know the best or whatever doesn't mean they're gonna work for you you really need to try them on and get a good feel for them uh, sorry I'm breathing kind of hard it's a good workout too what else would you rather be doing right getting a good workout in you decide new between boots for elk hunting you can think about screaming bulls in the mountains what else would you rather be doing but yeah I'm starting to like the hiking style boot a lot more than the taller hunting boots especially the ones like they're like 10 inches tall and they don't provide any more support than these do both of these boots are well I guess the broad tine is they call it an 8 inch but it seems more like a 6 to me and uh, they both both the Solomons and the Under Armour have great ankle support and they're a very light boot so they have more ankle support than half of the boots I try on that are 8 to 10 inches and they're about 6 inches so I like that a lot better because it's lighter and you can just move better in them I think but any, everyone's feet are different so you'll just have to find out what you like best so well I don't know These boots are going to be hard to decide between. I have to go get the Solomons back out. After yesterday, wearing the Solomons, I thought there's no way the Under Armour are going to live up to this. And when I put them on, I'm like, no, lacing system isn't as good. It's not as comfortable. I wasn't really sure about them. But they sure are doing good on this hill. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I just have to keep both. The next thing I'll probably do is uh, get a backpack on with uh, probably 20 pounds of weight in it and see how they handle because that's what I'll be well my my day pack for elk hunting will probably be around 15 pounds so I want to see how they do with a little bit of weight in it not too much I don't have to pack any elk out we have horses for that but just see how they handle the day pack load and if if I still can't decide between them I guess I'll just keep both because actually with the with the Loa boots I was starting I was starting to be starting to like them decently well and I thought well they're kind of breaking in they might might be good enough for, for the trip I might start to like them because I hadn't tried these ones on yet but um and then I uh, I threw on a 20 pound pack and boy that was just 
I knew then that they weren't gonna work for me. My ankles were slipping and then had pressure points. Just didn't work for me. But anyway, I'm probably gonna hammer out of this hill for another 20 minutes or so. Maybe switch boots. Get a good workout in, if nothing else. So, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing to uh, prepare for the elk hunt. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to Bronco Outdoors.